Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can stream your 3DS screens, both of them, to your PC without a capture card uh, through Wi-Fi streaming. Now Wi-Fi streaming, you will need a decent stable internet connection, however it's not too bad. So the first thing that we need to get is, um, if you don't have it already, Universal Updater. Go ahead and open it. Like a lot of our videos, we got to start by downloading some software. So again, this is Wi-Fi streaming, which means it's not going to be 100% perfect all the time. Um, but if you can't afford a capture card or don't want to get a capture card port installed onto your system, this is a great alternative. And you're only transferring over kilobytes of data, so you really don't need um, that much. Where'd my stylus go? There it is. Okay, so with the Universal Downloader open, you want to go to the search and search Arctic. A-R-T-I-C. And then go ahead and press A. And I recommend downloading the CIA because it will appear on your home screen and you're going to be needing to open this every time you want to stream a game. But if you would rather open it through the homebrew launcher itself, you can download the 3DS X file and open it that way. But again, I recommend the CIA. So just go ahead and press A on the one you want. It will pop up in the downloads, let it download. And then once it's gone and done downloading, you can go ahead and close the updater. And now what you're going to want to do is open it. So if it's in the homebrew launcher, open the homebrew launcher and open it that way. In our case, it's on our home screen, Arctic Base. So go ahead and open Arctic Base. And then it's going to look like this. So the first thing that you want to do now is before we do anything else, we got to get Citra on our computer. So if you don't already have Citra, you can go and type in uh, Citra to your computer. Click on the first link, download. Download your version, Windows, Mac, Linux, Android. I need the Windows version. Go ahead and click uh, download and it will download the zip file. And the zip file, you can right click, extract all, use 7-zip, whatever you want to use uh, to extract it. Go ahead and open the folder. You can open it with Citra EXE or uh, Citra QT. Either one works totally fine. Um, I prefer to use the QT because sometimes the regular EXE just doesn't work. Um, and once you open it, you'll be greeted with this. Um, so now what you're gonna wanna do is go back to your system and press A to launch Arctic Base. And it'll take a second. It's gonna boot you back to the home menu. So now what's gonna happen is whatever game you choose, it's gonna open up in Arctic Base instead of just loading the game normally. So I will have to blur some stuff here because there are IP addresses involved, but just understand I'm gonna be explaining everything verbally. So. We're going to be testing out Omega Ruby. So you're going to open up the game and you're going to see a little flash of homebrew and it's going to do this. So as you can see, it does say server listening on and then listening on and then the IP address. So that IP address is what you're going to need for your computer. So if you go over to file and then click connect to Arctic base, it will pop up a little dialog box. And in this dialog box, you are going to put the IP address that shows up on your system that says server listening on. And then you're gonna click okay. And it will say server connected 192.168, uh, whatever your IP address is. Um, and then it's gonna take a second, but on Citra, it'll just automatically start working so you just leave your 3ds sitting there um another note is you do have to have both systems connect to the same wi-fi obviously it uses local wi-fi transfer um and if it does take a second to load your game if you get a black screen just wait uh sometimes it takes a minute to load but once it loads it's good it's just transferring all over all the data and just like that it's on our pc Another thing is, since it's running on Citra, you can connect uh, controllers. Let me turn the volume down. You can connect other controllers. So I have a Xbox controller here, and as you can see, works totally fine. You can change the layout of these screens however you want using the View tab, and you can go to Screen Layout and change that however you want. You can also go to File, um, or excuse me, Emulation Configure, and that's how you can configure your graphics settings, your control settings. All the good stuff. I have mine on Times 2 native, which just means it's double the resolution of what it would actually be on the DS system. And uh, yeah, this is great for if you want to stream um, Pokemon or really any game. Go ahead and press A. 
it almost it works almost seamlessly. And the best part is, since it is all technically running on your 3DS and streaming to your computer, when you save the game, your save is on your 3DS. So you don't have to move save data. It all is on the 3DS. And give it just a second here. And there we go. As you can see, I'm playing Omega Ruby on my computer using my my Xbox controller. Um, and you can also set this up in however you want to stream. So this is my stream setup for this game. Uh, well, I have Pokemon Y right now because that's what we're going to be playing today on stream. But yeah, that's how you can stream your uh, 3DS to your computer through Wi-Fi, no capture card, and even set it up in Streamlabs, OBS, whatever you want to set it up in. And yeah, that's going to be it for the video. I will see you guys in the next one.